Hey, I'm Aaron here, and I'm the founder of KD Trainer and uh, KD Trainer Academy. Trainer Academy was actually born because KD Trainer is a, a personal training company. So as a natural, natural progression, uh, this growth uh, came with a need as well, which is we uh, were looking for quality personal trainers, right? And we found it challenging to find it uh, in, in Penang, where we are based. Um, so we thought of why not, uh, me and Nizam, why not we train people to be competent trainers instead of looking, because looking was a really tough uh, solution back then. So boom, there you have it. And the rest is history as they say. Um, picking up from my previous uh, answer was like I said, it was tough to find personal trainers that will meet our uh, standards or our, our, our levels of, of professionalism and expertise and skills. Um, so the gap that I was trying to fill also came from a previous experience. I was a personal trainer myself uh, in the fitness industry. And what I noticed was um, personal trainers have this uh, me versus you attitude or me for myself attitude. Right, I'm going to find my, my clients, I'm going to train them, I'm going to be the best trainer. I'm going to be uh, learning a lot of things uh, so that I can be the best trainer uh, you know, in town or in the world. And, and one day I'm going to build my own brand and my, you know. So it's a very uh, me centric and I, I see that as a huge problem because I honestly, sincerely believe that uh, there is much more strength uh, in numbers uh, as personal trainers. Not only in personal training industry, but in any industry, there's always more strength in numbers. And as the saying goes, uh, you can only go fast alone, but you cannot go far uh, without people. So that was the gap that I was really trying to uh, bridge with, with KD Trainer Academy to show that you know trainers are much stronger uh, when they collaborate rather than they uh, stay as competition. So what I see is um, the academy being able to create trainers that elevate the uh, okay. standards of the industry as a whole, not just ourselves or our name, but you know, we they go we give them the skills, we teach them the mindset of being a professional trainer and the kind of ethics that they need to have, and you know we let them out so that they can elevate the the standards of um, the personal training industry together with us. Even though they're not working with, with us, it's fine. Uh, as long as they, they keep that integrity, as long as they have that, that drive to be a true professional and in hopes of redefining the word personal training, where people do not see personal trainers as just a, a part-time career or a, a you know, I want, it, I want personal training to be uh, at a level like, you know, it's, it's a very noble profession which is as rewarding and as uh, professional as being a lawyer or a doctor or an engineer. Um, I truly believe that will happen and, you know, it's going to take a lot of work but that's what I'm fighting for.